You see that? Touch a stream of gold above, breaking through with hope of light and love, giving peace of mind to those of us who try. Mountain goat stuff, no doubt about it. Thank you guys for the lack of rain today. Look at the blue sky. Look at the mountaintop. See the clouds. See you.
we believe that we are just now entering Jacob's Ladder because we just came down that, which is straight up. This camera is not going to give you any kind of idea of the incline, but we are really struggling to keep our footing. And we know that other people have commented on how hard it is to get up going northbound, and we're doing it southbound today, so it's a little bit easier. Probably should say a lot easier, but we're not sure. The camera just doesn't do it justice. First view of the day. But you show me like this full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places. But we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chase and payment on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. I'm delighted cause I got you. So today is the first day we've gone southbound on the trail at all. Um, we did that primarily because of where we're located at, at the bed and breakfast. It made a lot of sense. Um, it was the shortest day we've probably hiked this week. It was only like 7.6 miles. But from parking lot to parking area, um, it worked out really well. Going southbound tend to be the social network that we passed 19 hikers today. Four were so like local or um, day hikers, but everybody else was through hiking northbound. And we ran into Brady and Carly, the Go Happy Go Londons that we've been following on YouTube, and their friends T Tuna and Minnow. And Tuna and Minnow are actually. Um, at the bed and breakfast we're staying at tonight so we were actually able to sit and socialize with them um, over dinner and got to know them a little bit and that was fun I'm tired <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep glad today's over we had some pretty intense uphill climbs we had some slippery wet rocks um, but no short, rain short day but no rain we were supposed to It'd be in rain half the day, and it actually ended up getting sunny and really nice out today. So that was great. And, and um, you know, I think that's really funny. God's really working on us um, with our faith and our um, stamina. And today, we neither one really wanted to get out there, but we wanted to accomplish what we needed to, to accomplish. So we've been getting up really early and um, taking advantage of the slack packs. And so... Um, we both were like, okay, we're going to get wet today. Let's get out there and see if we can't get half of our hike done before it rains. And then it didn't rain. We saw the sun. So we feel very blessed. And um, we just have really enjoyed the opportunity. Now we might be huffing and puffing going up the mountains and aggravated when they go over the mountains instead of around them when there's no reason not to. But um, 
you know, we recuperate fast and we appreciate the fact that this bed and breakfast has had a hot tub and very great host. Um, Cynthia and Jeff could not be any better and we've met some really great people. So anybody coming through this area that would like to stay at a great place, uh, Cynthia and Jeff will accommodate in, in, in any and every desire and it's a really beautiful place and it's called Creekside Paradise off the AT and they're at Yellow Creek Gap I think it's 158.7 and they'll let you put their, your tent out in their yard or on the deck and they've got three rooms and it's just been really great. They, we would like to stay another night but yep. we want to take a zero at home and get ready for the Smokies in a day or so. So um, it's been a great time. We've had a great time slack packing this week. So we're off we to bed. We wish we could slack pack into the Smokies. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. We're going to be putting <laughs> our packs back on. So good night.